Thank you very much, um, Abigail, for accepting our invitation. It was it has been Welcome a pleasure. Sir. I've been running around you trying to get you trying to get hold of you, and now you're here. Pleasure is mine. All right. Pleasure is okay. Mine. Thank you very very much. So tell our listeners and followers who you are and what you do. Okay. Bonjour, tout le monde. Bonjour. Um, Comment ça va, mademoiselle? <laughs> je vais bien. Merci beaucoup. Perfect. So I'm um, Abigail Ipai. Uh, I'm the lead trainer at Language Hub Mondial. I'm actually the founder, but I always say I'm the lead trainer. Um, um, so basically what I do is I, I teach French currently. And apart from the online business of teaching French on the Language Hub Mondial, I'm also a nine to five teacher at Greenwood House School. That's a primary school here in Lagos, Ikoi. So we basically in the school, we teach children French from about four, five years to 10 years. Okay, so um, also I I also um, do translation, interpretation. So basically everything is centered around communication, language. Um, apart from that, I also, um, of course, do voiceovers, um, TV presenting and many others. But basically, and most importantly, I teach. I teach French language to both adults and children. That's it. Wow. So can I say you're a, a woman of many parts? Is that, is that, is that right? Okay. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> All right. So my yeah. second question goes like, this. How, how did you discover French? Or how did French discover you? How did it start? How did the romance start? <laughs> <laughs> okay so it's a very funny one um you know most of us in nigeria before we get into school we have to find that course that program we want to do in school and it happened to be that um i didn't quite get the course i wanted many of us have that story and that's because we've not been exposed and properly oriented on um, the importance of doing languages as um, a course of study in school so I just saw it as, you know, just, um, should I say a plan B or should I say, um, okay, convenient at that time, mm -hmm. at that time. But then I realized after I put into studies in school, I realized that this is something that I shouldn't just pasture it just for doing the, um, doing it. You know, I had to go do a little bit of research at that time when I wasn't even enlightened. So I had to go on Google. I did a bit of research to find out, um, what can I do? What can I be most importantly after doing this four year course? And then I found a lot of options. I could do this, I could teach, I could, you know, translate, I could interpret, I could work at the embassy. I saw a lot of that and, and that really caught my attention. And then I put in a lot. As well, also, I, I observed when I, I was still in 100 level, I saw a lot of senior students rapping the French, speaking fluently, and I got so, um, I got so interested. I felt like, so you mean you started as someone who didn't know Jack in the language? and now you're this fluent this is something I would like to achieve and I believe that after my four-year course I should be able to do this so I put in the work and yeah voila <laughs> that's where voilà. I am voila on the deco on the deco it wasn't Bravo. easy but yeah <laughs> okay right that's fantastic so let's go to the third question and that question yeah. is what do you really do in this language hub mondial Okay. What, what do you do exactly? What, what's your job? And how did it come about? How did that dream come about? Oh, thank you very much. So before I, I, I get right into that question, I forgot to mention something. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not just someone who did French for four years and jumped into teaching. Right. right. So I have actually taken some certification courses that, you know, have placed me, have given me that um, skill and that exposure. I'm also a Dow C2 um certification holder and you know after i have discovered that i had a little bit of strategy when i was learning the language i thought to myself that this strategy is something that needs to be taught you know to other people and i looked at it when, when i was doing my um 
youth service at French Language Center under the Ministry of Education in Akure. Uh, that was when it, it struck me mm. that I could actually have my own center because I basically put in my all to grow, um, to, to, to contribute to the growth of that center. And that was where it came on me, like, Abigail, you can do this. A lot of people also came to me, you can have your own um, center. So I started, I, I brought a, um, a few adults together because I started training adults for children. So I brought a few adults together, I started training them. And from there, I learned on the job. I actually learned on the job. So it came from that um, willingness, that, that wanting to pass on knowledge, pass on the strategy that I used in succeeding in learning French. Wow. So, yes. Then let's go. Continue. Yes. So uh, when you said strategy, because I'm interested, that's that's very exciting for me. What is it? What is that strategy that you use that, I mean, I know you don't want to do default the cake, but uh, I yes. mean, give us a bit of the the the, the, the sprinklings on the, uh, at the top, you know, what, what are those things that you do uh, that other people might, might, you know, Take not not steal, but at least you know try to yeah, steal. Yeah, learning Cuba. Right. Okay, so um, don't forget, I haven't yet um elaborated what we do at Language Hub. I'll exactly. Get to that. Exactly. I'll get to that. But talking about um, one of the important strategies I used, communication and action, and that's the strategy I used to teach basically. You know where I I find myself. I just always um place my learning process in situations. So I'll say, okay, I'm learning um, how to converse in a market scene. I'm learning how to converse um, in church. I'm learning how to converse at the bank. So I'm actually bringing in situations and learning, you know, the um, language structure that, that is connected, the language registers that are connected to that context. So that way I'm basically learning the phrases, the words, the, 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 conversations, the call and the response, the questions and the answers of each situation. So we're taking it situation by situation. That is the, the communicative strategy. I can remember when I went to do my um, year abroad course because it's important when you do French mm -hmm. in the university. So I did my year abroad course at um, Village du Bene in Lume. And I told myself before I stepped foot there that I, I wanted to do two important things. I wanted to quarrel in French. <laughs> Very funny. I wanted to quarrel in French. And I wanted to go to the market in French, at least without a dictionary. So doing that, creating situations around you would help you understand, okay, this these are the word registers for that situation. This is the word register for that situation. And that's the communicative aspect. That is totally different from learning the language as just um, lexis and structure, just focusing on, okay, today we're talking about verbs. That was the way we learned when we were younger. And that wasn't really, um, if you get what I'm saying, it wasn't really effective. It wasn't effective. So what I just do is, okay, how do I buy in French? How, how do I say, I would like to buy rice? How can I say that? How do I say, um, good morning in French? How can I say, um, how much is it in French? So that's what the communicative um, approach does to someone who wants to learn with that method. Also, the action method is, of course, where you, you just get right at it be open to making mistakes. And that's one thing a lot of um, English speaking students try to avoid. They wait until they are perfect. They want to wait until they have the whole language, the whole dictionary in their head and that will never happen. Language learning process happens when, you know, it happens progressively. So if you have learned A, get into the, the, the just get into practicing it. If you have learned to be, start, speak it. And what I tell my students is, franglais is allowed. So if you have learned how to say, I want, then use it and say, je veux, drink water. If you have not learned to drink water, but you have learned, I want, why not use the two until you can cover the other aspects of that sentence? And that's how it helps, you know, just be open to making mistakes. I hope that answered that question. My God, you have, you have, <laughs> fantastic <laughs> okay so 
I was um no 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 it's okay. Let me reserve my statements, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> let's go to number four. So the what are the difficulties, if there are any, uh, of teaching French in an English speaking country? Is mm. there any difficulty that you're facing every day? Of course, there will be a lot of difficulties, a whole lot. Okay. Um, one of the major as a French teacher is that language teachers generally are undervalued undervalued and you know the ripple effect of being undervalued is that you'll be underpaid and this is because the community in general do not see the reason why they should be learning a language they do not use on a daily basis and that is a problem there because once we begin to tell people around us that the world is becoming more global and the more global it becomes, the more somebody in France becomes your neighbor. And that is it. We have the internet today. I'm talking to you in France today. There is no limitation of time and space. But then if you, you could not communicate in English, I should have been forced, I would have been forced, excuse me, to speak French to you. And that's it. A lot of us in Nigeria are limiting our skills, our expertise, our exposure to just the Nigerian space. Without understanding that, hey, you can actually reach out, you can have clients outside the country. So when they don't understand that, you know, the global world, the, the, the globalization that we have today and technology is making us closer, is bringing the whole world closer. And if the whole world is coming closer, it is important you know the language of your neighbor. Those are one of the things that we need to start telling them, but a lot of them don't understand that. So you hear words like um, inferiority complex, why are you teaching them white man's language? Um, have you taught your children the traditional languages and all of that? While it is important that we also foster the traditional and cultural language of our people, it's also important that we teach others. That would help them understand diversity. That would help them understand, you know, um, globalization, understanding other people's culture and all of that. So that is one of the difficulty. They are undervalued and they are underpaid. Secondly, we do not have enough training, or should I say funding? Because um, I, I, I don't know, cause I, I know about other um, organizations, other industries and sectors that have, you know, these organizations, non-governmental organizations that, you know, help improve, you know, people in that community, you know, the, you have the MBA for lawyers, you know, you have that for bankers, you have that for, for a lot of people. So you have those associations that help cater the needs of you know young upcoming um people in that sector but for french language teachers not just teachers french language teachers we rarely see a lot of activities in that light and you know the ripple effect of that it is that you will have a french teacher who has been teaching for over 30 years teaching the same thing with the same methodology without exposure experience improvement in his or her teaching methods and Skills, and that is a problem. That is just a very big problem. Um, I think that those are the two major difficulties I would say for now. Okay, fantastic. Woo, my God, that's that's more than enough. Okay, that is great. Yes. I, I love that because you're really hitting the nail on the head. Yes. Because um I I have very um my my own relationship with French is quite different because yeah. I discovered French when I came to France and oh. uh, all all the French I know is learned in France so oh, wow. um and I know very much that um when I when I came back to Nigeria some time ago and I met uh, students at the um what's it called the uh, in Badagri the French, French village, village and when I spoke with them i discovered that many of them know the the grammatical structures exactly. the language registers and all that but when they open their mouth you begin to wonder if they know the language at all exactly right i was even surprised i'm sorry to say that there was this lady uh who was responsible for teaching phonology and phonetics in the french village all right mm -hmm. so when we started speaking i said hey madam you you are you, you are the one who speak you know you understand the language i mean blah, blah, blah. so if you can pass français and she said 
Monsieur, please, the way she, <laughs> she was so afraid to speak. And I said, well, how do you teach these people? What, what are you teaching them exactly? She said, uh, they, they, you know, with pronunciation here is very different. You know, that kind of, I, I was, oh, that's okay. But I'm, okay, don't worry. You know, so I know that's a problem. That's a big gap between yes. those who teach and those who learn. That's a big gap. That's number one. And then the fact that nobody's retraining them, okay, and, and that's very difficult. So I, I this is the kind of thing I want to do. I want to come and do some training uh, to oh, retrain great. the trainers, you know, because there's one thing that you people do. You're right that like lawyers, they do have places where they go to, you know, and all the all, all kinds of uh, trade. They do have places where they go for internship from time to time to see what exactly. is happening, the latest things and all that. Instead of repeating what they did to you know 30 yes, 40 that. Years ago. and that that's mm. that's not, that's wrong you know and i understand that that's that, that's right it's very very important so now let's go to the final question do you have any teaching method i mean okay. he, because you, you're talking about your own you know your own style we understand imagine somebody walks up to you now and say hey madam i want to learn this language within the next three months from some from zero how many how what is the level you can take the person to in three months? Imagine the person comes to you two times per week. All right. Okay. So um, would the person be able to speak, read, write, and listen? If yes, to what extent can you take that person to? And how? Okay. Okay. So that's a whole lot of questions in one. Indeed. So you started with um, method. Yes. And I... I think I mentioned something like that earlier when we were discussing about the communicative approach and the action approach. Okay, so, so um, these are the two major methods I use, especially in a classroom, either online or physically. I try my best to ensure that under the communicative approach, the students are understanding different ways to communicate based on the situation at hand. So sometimes, uh, of course, following the, the, the book and the curriculum we have, we would have already placed the different situations, starting from meeting somebody for the first time, what are the things you say around that, um, to um, classroom experience, how, how do you converse in a classroom experience. So the communicative method essentially just exposes the students to their environment. It just puts them in reality and tells them, these are the things that go on in your daily life. And this is how you speak in those um, in that environment. So how do you converse when you are at the airport? So we teach that. How do you converse when, where, when you are at the bus station? How do you ask and tell time? How do you, um, um, you know, those are the kind of things we do. Then under the action approach, we, we, we give tasks. Under the action approach, the students are basically very active in their learning process. So you probably can might just take like 10, 30 minutes to explain what you have to explain, tell them to repeat after you and all of that. But then after they have learned that, you put them into the action approach where you begin with role plays. We do a lot of role plays. Um, we give them maybe group um, tasks, more like giving them authentic and organic documents to analyze, to discuss, to practice, sometimes you give them songs, let them analyze for the senior classes, the B2 classes, I give them a lot of French songs to analyze poetically. Uh, so we do a lot of that. And that is the communicative and action approach that I, I give to my students. Uh, can you remind me the, the, the next question, please? So I, I was I was saying that somebody who who has nothing, who has no French, and then okay. comes in and say, hey, I want to be able to speak this language in three months. Can I be Good. able to? And if yes, how do you what are what are the what are the first steps? How do you take it along to him? Okay, thank you. So um uh, it's very it's quite funny that a lot of students just come and they want to learn French in three months. That is we wouldn't say it's impossible. So what I tell my students is um, in three months, you would have actually attained a particular level in French. So according to the this um, language framework of reference. CEFR, yeah. CEFR, yes. They have been able to group these 
language acquisition levels, these progressive levels, into six different levels, which are, of course, three major levels, the A, the B, and the C. So I think the A is the elementary level, the B is the intermediate um, level, and the C is the experienced level. So what we tell our students is in three months, you should be able to, 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 to cover the um, elementary level. Because in that three months, you're you're learning the basics. You're learning, um, you're you're getting introduced into the language. You're learning, <clears throat> excuse me. So what they're basically doing is they are being they're having their first contact, their first their first exposure um, into the language. So that's what I tell them. We prepare a curriculum that 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 is targeted at their end needs because a lot of students come with different um, needs there's some who come and tell you okay so I'm, I'm coming to learn this French because at my job I, i'm required to do this and do that in a, on a professional scale so we give them the 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 um, french for business or french for professionals so that way we're not just teaching them everything in french language we're teaching them how to communicate but we're focused on what registers around their profession so that's what we do. Secondly, there are some who come and say they want to write TEF, the TEF exam. So th those ones basically, uh, they, they start from A1 to B1 to B3. So that is how it works to C1, excuse me. So A1, three months, um, excuse me, A1, three months, A2, three months, and that's how it is. So I tell them that if you are willing to put in the work if you are patient enough in a year you should be able to stand on your own you will no longer need a teacher's guidance but you have to put in the work fantastic okay that's good i i love i love it it's very clear everything is uh well articulated Thank you very much. So this is, uh, I've finished all my questions. Um, okay. Now tell the world, you know, how to meet you, where to meet you, if you are online, what you do. And okay. if anybody wants to come to you, where are you exactly? It's your, the, the floor is yours. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. So for those who are still confused about um, Language Hub Mondial, um, at Language Hub Mondial, we train students. We train students, you know, who need the French language for the for business purposes, for professional reasons. And we also train for, we prepare students to take the TEF examination or DELF, depending on um, what you want. Then we have a mini club, French language club for children. This French language club is fun filled. It's, it's helped, it is, um, it, it helps their pace. Um, in, in other words, we follow the pace of the children. It's not rushed. Uh, I think that that it happens once in a week, uh, every every Sunday. We train the children. We just come. We teach songs. We help them communicate. And a lot of our children are communicating right now. So anyone who is actually interested in our services, you can reach me on Instagram at abigail.i. You can also reach me on LinkedIn. That is one of the easiest places you can reach me on. You see my profile. See everything I do there. Abigail Ipai. Abigail Ipai is on my screen. The Ipai is I K P A I. Abigail Ipai. So you can reach me on there as well. We are an online institution. We do not have a physical space, so we basically do everything online. But um, our own, like I tell my students who always want to run away when they hear it's an online class, an online class, but a very communicative class because we foster conversation among students. Uh, that's what we do basically and yeah you can reach me on abigail Bye. wow fantastic that's that's it is um done and dusted thank you very much thank for you. your time nespa thank you for your time oh, uh, don't go for parler français un petit peu n'est-ce pas <laughs> alors dites moi um, qu'est-ce que vous faites quand vous n'êtes pas en ligne qu'est-ce que vous faites pour se reposer ah oh. Enseigner à Lagos d'abord, c'est très difficile de, de se reposer. N'est-ce pas? Je dois vous dire ça. <rire> même, même le week-end. Même le week-end. Le week-end même, c'est pour, euh, pour euh, faire euh, les autres cours. 
oui. en langue hop mondiale, comme je oui. vous ai dit précédemment, que je oui. suis enseignante dans une école primaire. Donc, à l'école primaire, je passe lundi à vendredi. Ah oui. Oui. Donc, c'est pendant le week-end que je fais les cours de language hop mondial. Ah oui, carrément. Voilà. Ah oui, donc il n'y a, a pas de repos en fait. Hein. Vous ne oh, reposez pas. Est-ce que vous dormez Est-ce que vous dormez parfois Je dors quand même, mais je dors. <rire> C'est pas comme si je ne dors pas, je dors. Okay.